sports cards fans what's going on Bowman 1951 here it is a beautiful Sunday morning out in my backyard and what better time than to head out on a new adventure we are off to New Hampshire this morning now if nobody's familiar with the, the Boston area we're really only 20 minutes or so from the border so it's not that long of a ride but uh, we are headed out of state because all the sports card shows are still uh, canceled in the area due to state regulations based on size of crowds but you know an outdoor flea market in New Hampshire is not so we're going to be masked up today and you know, we can get out there and see some tables. I was actually invited by uh, a gentleman by the name of Ray and he and I have been speaking since before the pandemic began because he's looking to open a card shop and wanted me to come visit do a tour do a video and uh, put it up for you guys to see well unfortunately due to the pandemic uh, it's been delayed a bit and uh, he's been selling a lot of his wares at this table at the flea market so that's why we're going to head up there today he invited us up really nice guy we've been talking off and on for weeks on end and um we're just gonna see what he's got, see if there's any other sports cards tables set up, and uh, we'll see maybe we can bring something back and rip on camera. So let's head up there now. Like I said, 20, 25 minutes or so, we'll be there. See you soon. Smooth sailing. Very little traffic as we head north on the interstate. Early Sunday morning. Again, heading to a flea market. This road would be bumper to bumper with traffic at rush hour. All right, we've just crossed over the border into New Hampshire, live free or die. We're gonna be getting off at exit four for Londonderry. And apparently it's right off the exit there. Really excited to uh, finally bring you some footage out and about. Let's find some baseball cards, shall we? Exit four, $1.25 please. Okay, we are here, the Londonderry flea market. It's like a busy one. You can see there, they just reopened about a month and a half ago after things got better and during the pandemic. Taking a quick scan of some of the booths and it is going to be $1.50 for the entrance fee while we wait here in line in our car. I see a lot of other people not masked up out here. I don't know why it's way different than it is in Massachusetts. I know they didn't have as many cases, but um, I'm gonna head in. I'm not on the lookout just for cards. We're gonna see if we can find other sports memorabilia too. Make a day of it. Heading down one of the very first rows here. Crowds weren't all that big. As I'll just explain later, it was extremely hot today. Funko uh, Pop. Old school Jonathan Papelbon punch box. Got some more Red Sox memorabilia. I always love seeing the newspapers. On the lookout for anything sports related, so we've got this catcher's mitt, outfielder, and I think that's a first baseman's glove. So there is a whole nother side over here that I haven't even gotten time to explore. It's like this little lake that uh, separates everything, but. Yeah, you can see the dealers over there. Loves me some flea markets. Always went with my parents as a kid. A lot of fun, especially the strange and oddball items that you can find. Look at this Mookie. This is his Dodgers uniform. Wild thing. Got a bunch of those. And a Mookie. And a Kawhi Leonard, also in his wrong current jersey. Finally at my first sports card table, and you can see some rack packs of junk. Junk era, that is. And I didn't even go through these binders. I just continued on. So in the very back is where you're going to find all the sports cards. I actually ran into a dealer I know by the name of Mike, who sets up at the weekly card show of mine. But unfortunately, has been shut down due to the pandemic, so he brought out a lot of his boxes. He didn't want to put out singles because he's afraid of people touching them. But here we go, showing you some junk wax, and maybe I made a purchase of these. We'll see. I'm always impressed by the older gentleman who will bring out what looks like a half a ton 
of junk wax full boxes for people to buy all right we're gonna go ricky card hunting at some point a little edgar martinez action do love me some junk wax certain kinds so some tables didn't bring singles but others did so we're about to meet the dealer that owns these here i decided to flip through some i could look through singles all day long so i just found this uh little box here and uh decided to actually grab some there's some jimmy g rookies hiding out right right pulled off a bit we've got a judge coming up here there it is and deshaun watson rookie yes please and the final dealer of the day. Again, nothing too exciting. Seeing a lot of junk air stuff. But they did have some supplies here, and I was just about out of penny sleeve, so I picked up two for a buck. And after I made that penny sleeve purchase, he was kind enough to allow me to check out some autos here within their showcase. This was really one of the only showcases that I saw all day where somebody had cards out like this that were slightly higher end. So we are here with Ray today at the Londonderry Flea Market, who's opening up a new card shop up here in New Hampshire. So Ray, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? I had a store back in 2015, it was called Strike Zone. Um, unfortunately, it had to shut down for a number of reasons, but I'm back into it. Um, I named, I changed the name to uh, the Fan Cave. It's gonna be called the NH Fan Cave. I'm looking at uh, Londonderry, Hudson area. Haven't really panned on it. Um, Shooting that. for like late fall. Is late that right? fall, yeah. Hopefully mid late September, early October. And just, uh, be just because it's going to take that long to get a get a location nailed down and do all the things that we need to do with it. Right, and we'll be certainly heading out there to do a grand opening tour, maybe a showcase of the first couple of days, and hopefully we've got some big autograph signers coming in there eventually we'll see when that will be It'd be nice to see those up here in new hampshire and uh bringing a lot more traffic into the store definitely all right thanks so much ray we'll see you at the fan cave got some cool stuff in ray's stash here old ruth another one of the tops chrome joe dimaggio I think this is a short print of babe ruth and the stadium chrome Sandy Koufax, thumb through the football too. Silver prism of Steve Young. Baker Baker, Kitty Bridgewater rookie, Gurley rookie, clear Marcus Mariota here. Let's hold that up. Jameis, now the backup, two of those. Mari Cooper rookie. Josh Allen. And I love these throwbacks, the chromes, the Namath, and the Elway. And Ray had a nice pull out of one of his Series 2 boxes. Got this McBroom rookie. It's a clear out of 10. I don't see too many of these. I don't think I've ever held one in person. It's really nice. Also got a vintage and a 99, another rookie, Jack Mayfield. A nice pull. Yeah, it was a good day. Over time to head back to the car. Again, you can see the crowd sizes and some more of the dealers. All right, that's gonna about do it. Got my wares in my hand here. There were like three or four card dealers. A lot of oddball items, like I mentioned before. Man, flea markets are so cool. It's just like 95 degrees out here today, so it's not the most pleasant i had to go under a guy's tent for a while just to stay out of the heat but we'll see you at the next video next adventure bowman 1951 out